If you are an Android developer who is constantly second-guessing yourself, jumping between tutorials and courses, and still feeling like you are not getting it, you are not alone. And this video will finally give you a clear roadmap to becoming confident and scaling up fast. You are trying to get from junior or mid-year towards senior, but everything seems conflicting. One tutorial says you should use MVVM, another one says no, you should use MVI. We shouldn't even start on clean architecture. One tutorial says you must use use cases, another one says no, you don't need them. Turns out everybody's building differently. And I've been there, wasting hours trying to guess what a senior would do, hoping I was on the right path. I was constantly afraid of the possible judgments around my code, and I was afraid to do things. I was afraid to commit code and get some feedback. Will these people like my code or not? And I guess you've been in that situation as well. Most junior and mid-level Android developers think that confidence comes from knowing everything, every library, every pattern, every best practice. But here is what most devs don't realize. This mindset is exactly what keeps you stuck. The truth is, a senior level confidence doesn't come from more information, doesn't come from more tutorials or courses. It rather comes from clarity, feedback, and repetition. Let me walk you through the exact steps that I'm using helping people go from confused and overwhelmed to confident. First, we are gonna look into what builds confidence and what doesn't. And then I'm gonna give you three steps that you can start taking today to feel more like a senior and getting towards that direction. And at the end, I'll share how you can start working with me if you want more personalized mentorship. Now, confidence doesn't come from knowing everything. It comes from having a clear system and getting feedback on the path as you grow. So let's look into what's not bringing confidence. Tutorials are not making you more confident. They show you ways of doing things differently, but they are not actually bringing more confidence to you. Courses, on the other hand, they do slightly better in that regard because they oftentimes give you different ways of doing things and they give comparison and pros and cons between those ways. However, when it comes to getting more clarity on a particular topic within a course, you couldn't really get that because the course is the material that you are seeing and that's it. You don't have a way to ask additional questions. On the flip side, what will bring you more confidence is first focusing on essentials. Building foundational knowledge around the topic is giving you the base ground where you can build on top. Let's take the architecture for example. When you have good foundational knowledge about what makes good architecture, it wouldn't really matter which approach you're gonna take, whether it's gonna be MVVM or MVI. What are gonna be all those little details that you're gonna have around? When you have solid architecture in place, then you can play around with different bits and pieces around it, and then you can see what works per particular project. However, the essentials are still gonna be the same, you're still gonna have abstractions, and you're gonna have them layered in some way. The second thing is building real projects and mimicking what a senior would do. Now, tutorials or courses are great to see some things and see how others do things, but unless you start doing the things yourself, you're gonna keep being stuck. So start building real projects and publish them on GitHub. By doing so, you are not only contributing to open source, but you are building a portfolio that you can showcase later on when it comes to searching for jobs or showcasing your way of working. Once you get these two in place, the third and the most important thing is getting feedback on the work that you've done, improve and repeat. Without having a feedback on the things that you are building, you are basically working in a vacuum. You have no clue whether your decisions and the things that you are making are good or not. When you start doing these three steps, you are gonna start feeling significant improvements in your career. And the good news is you don't have to be a genius. You don't don't have to build 20 super complex production ready applications. You just need a path, the right focus and the right feedback. And this is exactly why I started mentoring juniors and mid-year Android developers. Because sometimes you don't need more tutorials or courses. Sometimes you just need somebody to tell you what to ignore. I coach Android developers one on one. Some of them when they started they had zero confidence. And by now they are super confident about their career, they are not afraid to do things and they are getting promoted and building like seniors already. If you are tired of second guessing yourself and actually want to feel confident in your code and career, find somebody who can guide you and give you constructive feedback on the things that you are building. If you want me to help you out, show you the path, give you real hands-on support and feedback and a community of people getting through the same journey, click the link below in the description and you will find out more. Confidence is not magic, it's clarity, repetitions and support. You've got this.